Hello everyone, today I'm gonna share uh, my Norse and Finno Baltic uh, collection with you all. I've decided to uh, divide my bookshelf tours into collection videos instead. Uh, it will be a bit easier for me since I uh, reorganize and sell a lot of books, so I will show uh, my relevant collections instead through these shorter collection videos. Uh, so here it is, hope you will enjoy it. So here we have the Humboldt collection of my uh, Norse and uh, Finno-Baltic collection. Uh, actually only one uh, Finno-Baltic text at the moment. Uh, but first off we have Snorre Sturlason's Heimskringla, the ki uh, Old Norse King Sagas. Uh, this is a Norwegian edition, uh, a nice facsimile bound in uh, fake leather. But uh, I made a video about this book if you want to check it out, but it's in Norwegian. And then we have the Poetic Edda. Uh, this is translated by Lars Lönnrot. It's a Swedish translation published by Atlantis. It's a sewn uh, bound in paper, a fairly nice book and a good translation as well. So if you are Swedish uh, or can uh, understand Swedish, then I would definitely recommend this edition of the Poetic Edda. And then we have the Finnish epic, uh, the Kalevala by Elias Lönnrot. And this is uh, published by Atlantis, it's translated into Swedish, it's a paperback, uh, but it's a fairly nice edition. I haven't read it fully yet, but uh, I will of course <laughs> enjoy uh, this masterpiece from Elias Lundrut, the epic Kalevala. It's really interesting to uh, read about the Finnish mythology. Uh, and my grandmother is from Finland as well, so it's uh, extra special in that way. And then we have this old paperback. This was the first Edda book that I owned uh, and I've read it uh, many, many years ago. It's uh, an old translation, I believe, uh, of the uh, Snorres uh, Prose Edda and the Poetic Edda, uh, also in Swedish. But it's an old translation and uh, not my favorite, but it's a... Uh, well, it was my first Edda that I read also bound in uh, paperback binding. And then we have another book from Atlantis, the publisher. Uh, it's uh, Islandska Mythsagor, Icelandic Myth Sagas, also translated by Lars Lundrot, same uh, translator of the uh, the Poetic Edda. Uh, this one I've read, it's uh, a fairly short sewn binding, bound in paper. Uh, it's a good, uh, very nice front cover as well. <laughs> but it's a good a short book if you want to get to know some of the Icelandic myth sagas. And then we have Saxo Grammaticus, the History of the Danes, <laughs> book one to nine uh, by Hilda Ellis Davidson. Uh, this is a book I haven't really got into too much, but uh, it's uh, one of those important works of Norse literature that I will definitely uh, read one day. Uh, <laughs> it's also bound in paper. And then we have Färdernas Guda Saga, Berättar av Victor Rydberg. Uh, this is uh, a summary of the Norse, uh, Norse mythology stories uh, in a fairly short paperback by Victor Rydberg, who composed and uh, summarized the North myth sagas. So it's a nice short edition that summarizes well the sagas and uh, gives a good overview of Norse mythology. Also has a very nice front cover. And then we have uh, a Jackson Crawford book, The Wondrous Hovermall. Uh, this contains the Old Norse Hovermall and the translation by Jackson Crawford. Uh, a nice edition, a nice sewn edition that I have read, uh, not fully, but I've read uh, a lot of parts of this uh, translation of the Hovermall. And here is my second Jackson Crawford book, The Saga of the Volsungs, with the Saga of Ragnar Lothbro, also by Jackson Crawford. Uh, this is in a paperback published by Hackett as well. Uh, I've read and uh, <laughs> compiled quite a lot of notes on this edition. It's a nice, good translation as well, but doesn't contain the original source text. And lastly, I have Wolf Head by Shani Oates. Uh, this is a uh, leather-bound book, a uh, signed uh, edition of this uh, book of Norse magic, published by Anathema Press. Uh, very nice edition, but I haven't read this one yet. 
So that was my humble collection of Noah's uh, books. I hope you enjoy this video. I have some very exciting books that will get included into this collection in the, I think, next month. In October, they will arrive uh, from Jackson Crawford, a signed special edition, uh, which I'm sure all of you will enjoy. I will share it with you all when it arrives. Other than that, I want to thank you all for watching. I want to thank my YouTube members and my patrons for supporting me. And I want to give a special thank you to Shane Sherbert for supporting me as a Bibliophile team member here on YouTube. Thank you all so much and I will see you all next time. Bye.